Today we are going to teach you how to make grasshopper torte. And this is something that you really would find as a fancy dessert in an, mm -hmm. at, in an elegant restaurant. When I was a kid, I worked in a restaurant and this was their featured dessert. And the chef gave me her All secret right, So the first thing we have to do is we have to make a chocolate crust. And um, she used these thin chocolate wafer cookies that were kind of expensive. And you really don't have to do that. So just buy the cheapest, um, like Oreo sandwich cookies. They can be generic. And then you're going to grind them up. So we're going to let Judy start by doing that. And we'll just throw these in Judy's nifty little, what is this thing? This is a magic bullet. Magic bullet. I guess we did a commercial for them, huh? Does it work okay? I think I'm really honest with you because we're trying to think of these shortcuts. We, we actually did grind some of these cookies up ahead of time because we knew that might take a little time. So we're going to go ahead and dump those in. We need between two and three cups of crushed cookies and as usual we're not very exact on that because we didn't have to be. And we did another shortcut and we melted the butter in the microwave. We figured you guys already know that. I mean you've been learning these all along, right? So um, a quarter of a cup of butter. And put it in there and then just kind of take your little <laughs> Take a little something and just, oh, sorry about that. Here, you could stick some of those in and use up all that butter. Or not. Stick some, what? <laughs> just put some in the little oh, bowl. Oh, yeah, we'll gosh. just use up all, all that butter. And get it out because it's in there and we do never. I'm trying to all figure out right. where you want to yeah, stick so go ahead thing. and do that. <laughs> How's it going? Good, good. Looking good? good? Mm hmm Okay. What do you think? I think you could do a little more. Just kind of get it on the side. All right, now just dump it in here. And we're going to press it down. You know your fingers and hands are going to get dirty again. But I'm sure. Better yours than mine. Go for it. This is just making the bottom of this delicious dessert. Wait, oh, it's, it's just really, really good stuff. And St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and it's green. So it will be a fun dessert for St. Patrick's Day. So Judy's going to finish pressing this down, and then we'll show you the rest of it really fast. This is another one of these quick and easy recipes by the so We've gotten the crust part done now, and now we're going to do the rest of it. And to do the rest of it, we're going to use heavy whipping cream. Judy, we need three cups. Okay. You better probably put it in this bowl. We, we're, this is a two bowl process that we're going to be doing here. So we need to measure the um, the three cups in. Do you want me to help you with that? Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. All right. What Judy didn't tell you today is that before we started working today, she went over to Glamour Shots and she got herself all dolled up Chris. because we were going to do the dolled up thing. Remember we told you we'd do that? And so now I'm feeling really bad. So look at her and don't look at me. And if your eyelashes fall off <laughs> into what we're making, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll make fun of you. All right, so now we need to, we need to go ahead and whip this. Okay. And use beaters. We put the beaters in the refrigerator. We normally put the bowl in the refrigerator as well, or in the freezer, because it helps your whipped cream whip faster, and we always want to do everything faster. Like put the beaters into the thing faster. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you get it? Well, I, I, you know, I think so. All right. Well, that one I know is well seated, so that's going to okay. be... So, we're going to beat this up. Oops. That's going to take a couple minutes. And so, as soon as Judy stops, starts beating, we'll just take a little rest here so you don't have to watch all Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to have the little put the rest. beater. <laughs> we'll be right okay, it's looking really good now. We don't want to overbeat it because then you know what happens. You have wonderful butter, but it doesn't work so well for this particular recipe. So we're going to stop now, and we're going to do the rest of the rest. Okay, so the next ingredient in this wonderful recipe is one of our favorite things, it seems like. We have marshmallow fluff again. 
This calls for the 13 ounce jar, and Judy's scooping it all out as quickly as she can, but we all know that that sometimes is a challenge. But <laughs> while she's doing that, I will tell you that the next ingredient is cream de mint. It's the real deal. It's, um, you can buy whatever brand you want, but it is the after dinner cordial drink. And we're going to use that to give it its beautiful green color and the mint flavoring. And Judy's just about done with that. She's really getting to be a pro. Yeah, I know. Practice makes perfect. It's the spatula. Yeah, yeah, that's spatula. I think we've talked that one to death. Okay. All right. So now you want to go ahead. And we, get the you're getting a little messy there. We need six tablespoons of the uh, cream de mint. <clears throat> Don't be skimpy or it won't be nice and green and... That's better. <laughs> you know, a little dab, a little more of a dab than it will do you. Three? Three. Try not to get it on your sweater. Four, because I don't think it'll come out. Oh boy. It's trying to get me. <laughs> I've noticed that. Five, and we wanted six? Six. Like a big six. All right. That's a big and six. That's a big six. And then the other thing that we use is cream de cocoa, and you can leave this out if you don't want to, if you don't want to have to buy cream de cocoa, but it just gives it a nice taste. So we're going to add two tablespoons of cream de cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> but if you get that on your sweater, no. It's going to know. Yeah, All right. Good. Now we're going to beat it up again. Beat it with the beater? Beat it with the beater. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, what part of that <laughs> didn't you get? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's slow. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Yeah, you get a nice one. Oh no, you did it. I have one. Oh, I do. Yeah. You're just a marshmallow. Oh, good. Alright. Well, we're going to have to do a lesson on laundry <laughs> next time. Would you like me to help you? <laughs> I all told right. you I'm challenged. Well, that's fine. Do you we, want it all? Oh, that's good enough. That's okay. Good. We'll call it good. All right. Because that would take me another half an hour. All right. So mix that in. Maybe you let Sophie uh, lick the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'd go to sleep early. Really? Tonight. Yeah. You want to feed this to your kids <laughs> at supper time for an early bedtime. <laughs> My kids love it. Really. You just do this too. You you just you know take your yeah, hand. Yeah, that would there. Yeah. Just dump it out. Yeah. If you if we were working, we'd have our gloves on, but. <laughs> We're just going to feed these to the kids and they don't care. Judy washed her hands. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, here it is. Go ahead. You can show your masterpiece. I'll get that out of the way. Show them what it looks. This is Grasshopper Tort. Oh, don't. don't. don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, it's Grasshopper Tort. And we're going to give you the recipe one more time. But you can remember that we're getting closer and closer, actually. We have a very good friend of mine, Andy Traub, is working on our website, doughraisingmom.com. And you will be, I know we keep telling you this, but it actually is a work in progress at this point. And you will be able to go to doughraisingmom.com and find all of the recipes that we've taught you so far.